How's it going guys? Today we're going to be going over a problem called add binary and before we start I just want to tell you guys a little bit about who I've been talking to from the channel. So yesterday I talked to Nick. Nick is a junior at University of Maryland and he currently has a interview with Facebook for a software engineering position an internship over the summer. Um, he has an interview on Monday so yesterday I talked with Nick for almost two hours just about things that he can do to prepare. Um, my general advice like stuff that's going on with him in college and his classes and it was great talking to you Nick. If there's anything you you know else I can do to try and help you, be sure to let me know. I think Nick and I are going to try and do like another mock interview or like a, a couple check-ins this weekend, Saturday and Sunday. I also talked today to Sundodia. Sundodia is uh, basically she has like a an interview with Google, an on-site interview for the APM program, which is basically their associate product manager uh, program, which is a super cool program. It's like super hard to get into. So Sundodia, like really good for you. I really hope you kill this interview. She has her interview in about. 10 days, like a week and a half. Um, so this is just a reminder for you guys, that if there's anything I can do to help you guys, be sure to leave it in the comments. I'd be sure to, you know, I'd be happy to connect and kind of talk to you guys and, and help, help you guys like really any way I can. So if there's anything I could do, just leave a comment below and we can email back and forth and figure out a time to talk and figure out how I can help you. So with that said, let's jump into our problem. So this problem is called add binary. This one is a very common question. It says it's easy, I feel like it's kind of a, you know, like a little difficult. There's like a lot of edge cases you have to think about and things like that. But this is asked by Facebook. Uh, it's actually one of their most frequently asked questions according to leak code. So another super good question to know. And I feel like this is like one of your like classical interview questions. So it's just good to know in general for all different ty uh, types of companies. So the problem description says given two binary strings, return their sum, which is also supposed to be a binary string. So the inputs are both not empty, so we don't have to worry about error checking, and the, uh, the strings will only contain zero and ones as characters. So we don't have to worry about weird uh, non-binary digits. So that's kind of nice. So how does this work, right? So just like normal addition, we want to start from the back of the numbers. And the only difference with binary, right, is it's base 2, not base 10. So we have to carry when we get to twos, and we bring it over to the next column, and we all hopefully know how to do addition. So there's a couple different cases we have to think about, right? Both numbers could be zero, in which case it's not super interesting, it just yields a zero. A number could be a one, and a number could be a zero, which would yield a one. Or two numbers could be a one, in which case we get a carry, right? So the carry is really the interesting case that we need to be careful of. So what I'm thinking is we can iterate through these strings together, and we could just go through them, um, you know, like adding their two values together, whether the digits are. And uh, we can basically, every iteration, we can like formulate a carry, right? So if they're both ones we're going to need a carry and when we also like need a sum right like if they're one and one we need a carry of one and we need to place a zero at that index um, if it's a zero and one we need to add a one there and we won't have a carry uh, so we need a carry we need a sum and we need indices right to track like where we are in these numbers and so we could just have a loop that goes through all the indices and basically populates the number that should be in the result and like keeps track of a carry if we have one so Let's try and do that. And because this is like heavy string manipulation, I think it's probably a good idea to use a string builder because in Java, strings are immutable, so it's kind of expensive. So let's make a string builder. So we'll make a string builder. I, I usually call them SB just for string builder, and we'll set the equal to a new string builder. And now we need our indices, right? So we want to start at the back. So we'll have two indices, i and j. So int i equals a dot length minus one, and int j equals b dot length minus one. And so now we want to say is while they're both greater than zero, meaning we haven't iterated through all the digits in their binary. So while i is greater than or equal to zero or uh, j is greater than or equal to zero, we have some kind of work to do. So the first thing we said we want to do is we need a sum, right? We need to keep track of what the values of these two digits at these indices added together are. So, oh, and we also need a carry. I can't forget that. So we'll say int carry and we'll just start that at zero because we won't have a carry initially. So now at every iteration, let's say we're somewhere in the middle of the string, right? We might have a carry. So our sum should always start at our carry. And so initially it'll just start at zero. Now what we need to do is we need to add to our sum the value of the index of i at a and the value of the index of j at b. So let's first do error checking, right? Because they could be out of bounds, we don't really know. So we'll say if i is greater than or equal to zero, just to make sure we're in bounds. And if it is, we need to get that value and add it to our sum. So we'll say sum plus equals, 
And now we'll get that character, so a dot care at i, and we'll say minus minus, so it goes down every iteration, and we'll subtract the character zero from it. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna offset our character and convert it to a number. So because we're using specifically uh, the character zero, the number, sorry, zero minus zero will yield zero. So character zero minus character zero will yield a zero. So it's converting it to an integer, which is nice. And now we'll do the same thing um, for J. And just to mention too, if it was a character one minus the character zero, that would actually yield a one. So it's kind of like a nice trick to know to just convert characters to uh, integers really easily. So now we'll do the same thing for J. So if J is greater than or equal to zero, we'll say sum plus equals B dot care at uh, j minus 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 the character zero. So now our sum is correctly populated. So we've correctly like added these two digits together. So now what we need to do is we need to add their result to our string builder and we need to uh, recalculate our carry for the next iteration of this loop. So we'll say sb.insert and we want to insert at the zeroth position. So this is again is like a little trick so we don't have to reverse the string builder at the end. Every time we're going to insert at the beginning and it's going to shift everything back one. Um, so that will place the digit in the correct index. So what we want to place here is the sum mod two, right? And so what this is going to do is if somehow, sorry, not somehow, we could either have a zero as our sum, we could either have a one or a two, right? So we're either, if we have a zero, sum mod two will yield zero. If we have a one, sum mod two will yield a one. And if we have a two, sum mod two will yield a zero. And then what we need to do now is calculate our carry. So our carry will just be equal to our sum divided by two. And so this is nice because if our sum is ever two, we'll get a one, meaning we need to carry it and we will. And if it's anything but a two, uh, integer division will just yield a zero. So like one divided by two will just yield a zero. Zero divided by two is obviously zero. So that will correctly calculate our carry. So this loop now, should correctly give us all the binary um, as a string for our string builder. So that should have the answer. And now once this loop ends, all we should really have to do before we return the result is check if the last two significant, so the most significant digits, if they created a carry, right? It's possible that our carry is still one here. So if it is, we need to insert it into our string builder. So we'll say if carry is greater than zero, we'll say sb.insert at the zeroth index a one, right? So if we have a carry from our last, uh, you know, uh, addition that we did in the uh, in the most significant digits, then we have to add it into our string builder. And so that's what we'll do. So if the carry is greater than zero, we'll insert it. And now all we have to do is say return our string builder dot to string um, because they're actually asking for a string as a return value. So let's check and make sure this works. Awesome, and it does. So that's how to solve add binary in Java. If this was helpful, guys, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. I really try and release a video every single day so you guys can see a new tech interview asked by these big companies. Also, yeah, if you guys need help with anything, just leave a comment below. I'm happy to you know, answer every single comment. If you guys need any time to talk to me or anything I could do to help, let me know and I really am happy to carve out time for my schedule to talk to you guys. So with that being said, good luck on everything. In the future, all your interviews and everything you have to do, and I'll see you guys next time.